discuss have been duly posted. While this is a meeting in public, it is not a meeting of the public. If you wish to speak, please register in the lobby for audience for guests and follow the instructions on the speaker form. The board's role is to set goals, approve personnel and budget, make policy and provide oversight. We are not here to manage individual problems or solve individual problems or manage them. Management is the responsibility of the superintendent. As a board, we believe we must educate every child, give every child the greatest opportunity to learn and provide a safe and secure environment mentally, physically, emotionally, and academically. And these are our core values. We appreciate your interest in the students of CISD. We have all seven members here, and so we do have a quorum tonight. Our first item is the Pledge of Allegiance. And we have Ashley Boutron, who is our salutatorian here to lead us. to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. Thank you, Ashley. Next is the invocation. And Jeremy Dickerson, a CSD employee, is going to lead us in that. Please bow your heads. Dear Heavenly Father, I want to thank you for your hand over Corsican ISD, for the safety, security, and endurance of our students and staff. I pray specifically for the senior class of Corsican ISD as they go out into their next step. I pray that they find peace in you, your word, and your will in their life. I pray for their parents as they adapt to having one less child in school. I pray for our, our staff and our students to find godly rest this summer, God, that, that they take this time to rejuvenate themselves uh, with eagerness and rest for, so they can have eagerness for next year. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you. First item, we have the superintendent's report. At this time, we would like to thank Vera Bank for a generous donation to send 17 of our student council students to Texas Association Students Council Summer Leadership Workshop. And at this time, we would like our student council uh, students and sponsor Brianna White to come up. And our Vera Bank representatives. She's right there. Oh, okay. She's here. Christina's here. <laughs> Ladies, if y'all come up here. I think Saray has something to say. She's going to speak. Okay, so first I want to just congratulate Ms. Howe, Mr. Minkins, and Ms. Castillo to um, y'all new positions. And we have just a small gift for y'all to show that we're congratulating. You can give it to them. Just to show our congratulations. And we want to thank, say thank you to Vera Bank for sponsoring our TASC um, summer camp to enlighten our membership. I mean, our leadership this summer and this make us overall Im improve our um, student council. Just improve us all overall. And I just want to say thank you. I am Sarah Curry, the incoming class president of city council. And these are my fellow officers, the upcoming officers. And we just want to say thank you.
At this time, we're going to come back to the superintendent's report. Um, when we will recognize the Val Victorian salutatorian. So the next item on the agenda is fleet upgrade. Thank you, Vera Bake. We appreciate all your support. Thank you. Hope you all enjoy it. Thank you. Thank you for allowing me to speak with you tonight. Um, should have in your board book a uh, white fleet update package. Maybe on the PowerPoint here in a minute. I'm going to go. So, on the first page there, you will see our current fleet as it stands across the maintenance, grounds, and staff travel vehicles. Um, they are, you know, you can see they're, most of them are in the mid 2000s, um, all the way back into the 90s, and in some cases. They all are, you know, getting up in miles. Some even have over 300,000 miles across the district. Um, what we are, our Regent Bank loan, we just paid off in 2023. Um, that was for eight vehicles. Um, we were paying a total of $93,000 uh, uh, across five years from 19, or 2019 to 2023. Um, in total, we paid $416,000 in principal and $50,518 in interest. Okay, perfect. So you can see that that's what we paid from 2019 to 2023. Um, we paid that off, um, and so that those funds have cleared up in our budget um, to spend on, on other items and not increase our total spending going into the next year. Um, the vehicles that were included in that were two school buses, three police vehicles, one CTE truck, one transit van, and one Kawasaki ATV. Um, all those are still in the district, um, still in use. So, so Brian, can I ask you a question? Yes, sir. Are those really leases or are we? It was, it was like a lease to own. I was not here when we first went into that, that deal, but it was, we, we just, purchased them and it was, it was a finance deal uh, we paid five years on them and they were our vehicles to keep okay. yes sir so we own the vehicles now. yes sir yes sir thank you uh those um so the new new vehicles we're looking at are six ford f-250 trucks those will include the cm service bodies uh, that our maintenance department uses as well as two ford expeditions with third rows uh, include full eight seats the dealership we're using is um mac hayek out of uh, uh, Georgetown, Texas. They are a buy board approved vendor. And um, what that basically means is it, it, it gives us the authority to use them. We get some discounts for being a uh, school district as well as some discounts for being a buy board member as well. Uh, where we will allocate these new vehicles, um, the six Ford F-250s will go to the maintenance departments and replace their aging fleet. And the two Ford Expeditions will go to staff travel for out of district travel. Um, all the vehicles that we have, um, you know, the transportation department does a, a good job of, of keeping them on the road. Um, they do a lot of work on them, keep them going. So the ones that are still in good condition, we can repurpose those. Um, one example we talked about was our warehouse. I've uh, been able to use it for deliveries across the district. They get a lot of, you know, larger packages and it'd be good for them to have a truck they could use to, to get those out to the campuses. Um, <coughs> other ones could go to grounds, um, just, you know, as vehicles start aging out and then those are still running, we, we could use those in many places across the district. So the, the new uh, finance would be for eight vehicles. The total purchase price on those would be 459 586 before any uh, financing or interest rate. Um, we are currently in discussion with Vera Bank, uh, submitted all this paperwork in um, two weeks ago. Um, they're working on their financing terms they could do for us, but what we're looking to do is just maintain our current annual spending um, across a five or six year note with them and um, not increase our, our budget numbers and, and add these to our fleet to, to really, really help us out. Um, you should have also gotten a packet that gives you some more details um, about each vehicle. Um, that was provided by Mac Hyatt. Um, it will show you the, the exact cost of each vehicle, 
um, as well as the discounts and, and things like that that we are receiving. So if you have any questions, I'll be glad to, to answer them. Yes, yes. Yes, single cab. Uh, with the only thing we changed, um, it's like adding that CM truck bed on the back of it. Um, that's something that the main department really wanted. They, they really use those. Um, they'll all come with the same trucks. You know, Ben can get the keys and everything dispersed out. So I think that'll be a really good upgrade to what we have. Yeah, so currently right now we only have, as you can see on the slide there, we have a two 2014 Ford Expeditions and Escape. Um, you know, a lot of times that's, that's also having been used by, um, you know, special programs, other needs like that to, to transport um, certain children. Um, so we really do not have enough to give out to, to a lot of people that are going out of town. Um, so we're having to reimburse them at, at our, you know, the, the mileage rate on their personal vehicle. Um, what is that mileage rate? It's 55 cents a mile, sir. 57? 57 cents, cents a mile. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, so, you know, you know, like a trip to Houston and back, I mean, that, you know, starts adding up, especially when there's multiple people going. Um, so the ability, especially with these able to seat, you know, eight people pretty comfortably, you know, we, we could really, really save a lot of money instead of sending, you know, two or three people in their own vehicles to, to Houston or Austin or whatever and, and have to reimburse them every time. And do you know how much money we actually spend just on average? I know off the top of my head, I mean, it's, just, it's a significant number. I could get that number for you. Um, but it's, 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 it's not, you know, it's, it's a decent, decent number. So. Well, my, my thought process was if we can cut back on some, some of that and that kind of Exactly. help pay for this as well exactly and the, and the Ford Expedition and Escape I mean they would still be in rotation for things where we need them and you know they're 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 still in decent order um, so we could use those for like I said special programs to use them and stuff like that but then these expeditions could be used for a lot of out of district are there are there any of the vehicles that's that once you get these or something you'll just completely cancel out or um, or all of those. I think that '97 Dodge Ram is on its on its last leg there. I think it was in a wreck um, a few months ago. Um, so that one is probably completely out of the fleet. Um, we just have to sit down with transportation, let them give us a full assessment of, of what you know. There's no point in keeping the vehicles if we're going to have to continue to spend money, you know, and change engines, transmissions, things like that. So just kind of see what what we think we get a few more years out of. Put them in places that. Um, aren't as a day-to-day -day need, um, but. Does anybody have any questions? Okay, this is not an action item. It's just an information item for tonight. All right, thank you, Brian. Thank you. We have about two minutes before our valedictorian will be here. We're going to move on to the consent agenda. Everyone received this in the board book. So I move that we accept the consent agenda as presented. So I have a motion and a second to approve the consent agenda as presented. All in favor? Aye. All opposed? All right. Consent agenda is approved. I'm so sorry. As a reminder, this Friday is graduation.
So the ceremony is scheduled to begin at 8 p.m. at Tiger Stadium at, at Tiger Stadium at Community National Bank and Trust. If you cannot attend, it will be streamed on YouTube. The link is available on our website and social media channels. Uh, congratulations to the class of 2024. You have represented our community and school very well this year. So now we're ready to acknowledge our valedictorian and our salutatorian at this time. Our valedictorian is Alyssa Crouch, daughter of Dr. Aaron Crouch and Michelle Crouch. She grabbed the top spot in her class early on in high school and never let go of it. Alyssa will be attending Baylor University. Our salutatorian is Ashley Boutron, daughter of Edith Boutron. She maintained her grades and played tennis all four years. Ashley will attend the University of Texas in Austin. Both were very active in school organizations and activities through their four years at CHS. Congratulations. If you'll both come up and we'll give you um, your plaques and pictures. Again, congratulations, ladies. We are very proud of you. So at this time, we're going to go into closed session. We'll adjourn the closed session as permitted by Texas Governance Code Section 551.01.